I'm Emily with Lake Light, and today we're going to be installing the solar piling light. When you open your kit, you will notice there are two screws. The first thing we are going to do is remove these two screws. Once your screws are removed, carefully remove the cover. Inside, you'll know there is a battery cover. We'll remove this to connect the battery. After your screws are undone, remove the cover. Inside, you'll notice there's a battery. You'll need to align the notches to connect this battery to the power unit. Press it tightly together and screw over the plastic cover to make sure it's waterproof. Once you have it tightly secured, tuck the wire back inside and place the battery on top. Now it's time to replace your cover. You'll notice there's a silicone pad. First, you'll align the silicone pad over the screw holes. Once you have it aligned, you'll replace the cover and it's time to put your screws back in. When putting your screws back in, it's important to turn them in the reverse direction first until you hear a pop and then slowly tighten each one all the way around until they are firmly tight. Once you tighten your screws to make sure it's waterproof, it's time to replace the power unit onto the light. You will notice that your kit comes equipped with eight screws that each have a nylon washer. It's important to make sure that that nylon washer is in place. That keeps the screw from scratching the paint. It's important to use our hand and not a tool at this point to make sure that we're catching the threads correctly. Next, use the provided wrench to tighten your screws. You'll want to tighten each screw a little bit, slowly working your way around until they're all securely tightened. This makes sure that the unit is waterproof. Now it's time to install the light to the piling. Center the light on the piling and then mark your four holes. Now drill four pilot holes for your screws. to place your light back on the piling. You will notice your kit came with four screws. Each of these screws has a nylon washer. This is to make sure that the screw won't scratch the paint. Now that we've finished installing the light on the piling, you'll notice in your kit there's a small magnet. This allows you to turn on the light. So after nightfall, use this magnet to not only turn on your light, but control the brightness level by sweeping it over the solar panel. Just remember, the brighter the light, the shorter the runtime. The dimmer the light, the longer the runtime will be. To change the brightness setting, simply tap the magnet on top of the light. This completes the installation of the solar piling light. I'm Emily with Lake Light. Thanks for watching.